All right, I continue working with uh, backend in Rust, and its sole purpose right now is to provide me with a bunch of JSON configurations for uh, JSON forms uh, renderer, which is allowing me to render this. And I've come to the point when I actually need this thing. So this thing is defined in UI forms uh, JSON format. Let me show it off. So um, if I go to schema for data that I am able to present in that dropdown, the JSON form um, format uh, allows to use a, a JSON uh, configuration with enums, right? So this is a validation thing at the same time. So I want this to be highly configurable because since I'm kind of building a um, editor for myself, I want to be able to eventually edit the names and the amount of parameters I could use in here. And that leads me to sort of templating. In reality, now I continue with that, right? I want to have config for parameters. in uh, JSON and technically my JSON should just be that so this is what I want to be able to edit and technically if I read that file if I read parameters file and just concatenate it in here I would get the configuration saying configurable I find it interesting that there's a lot of templating libraries in Rust already, just like in um, just like in uh, uh, PHP for WordPress. And um, based on this website, one of the cooler templating languages uh, out there is Terra, which will allow me to set up configurable stuff in here and just insert stuff in it. I would set up the parameters in here and it would show my parameters within the brackets. Uh, so let me go ahead and just add Terra to my list of dependencies. What? So I go to cargo tunnel All right, so I hope cargo field will install it quite fast. Updating, bam, 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 bam. All right, so. Um, so the reasoning is uh, I want to have as little custom Rust code as possible and uh, technically the templating should allow me to to do just that. I will provide just a bunch of simple configurations and it will generate more configurations for me. Um, come on, it's almost done. So basically, this is like a, a Terraform configuration. It's like a Go, a Go language has um, a bunch of configuration possibilities with uh, with templating. And uh, yeah, I want to kind of save a bunch of time for me. So if it works, come on. Also, my battery might die. Hope it doesn't.
so it's almost done and apparently yeah so let me just go ahead into my actual code and uh, in there I kind of copied the um, code for getting the go app data schema which I'm going to modify now I want to import the Terra is it built yes so I imported the Terra I want to have all this code in there so I read the contents it's a string so Terra default is that so the source should be the contents So it will be the contents. Bam. Is it supposed to be this? Yes. So this is all right. So we build the context, and I want to introduce parameters. And the value should be another file so this is the only thing where I should be able to uh, so parameters this is technically the only uh, code I want to parameters uh, parameters All right. So this is my parameters file, and I want to inject the parameters file as a value. All right. Uh, a reference to it. All right. Terra. Render. Template name. What the fuck is template? name all right I guess they just add draw template hello source oh, all right this is the name of template they will use internally I guess so this is still hello and this is still hello and they all right. Um, unwrap. Hopefully, it should give me a string. Nice. So, so my uh, template, uh, my config should be just that. So this and I want to return config into response and this schema now it should have a template here uh, yeah double curly braces and um, I called it parameters. All right. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. It shouldn't be JSON anymore. TPL. JSON TPL. It will be a TPL file for me. Um, JSON TPL. Since it's a TPL file now, I want to have it like this. 
It's not pretty. Oh, come on. Why is it formatting this file? It's not, it's not this. Come on. I don't want it to be this. I want it to be just a text. Come on, text, 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 text. Just raw text. Um, all right. I haven't even tried it. All right. All right. So this should technically work. If it works, then I'm going to end it here. And uh, you don't need to see my face anymore. Oh, come on. All right. So let's try and cargo run. Build. Listening, and hopefully, if I re render, it still worked. It still worked. And uh, if in parameters I add some voodoo and try to reload in one of the parameters, I will have a voodoo. So there you go. Uh, we were able quite quickly to add another dependency, unfortunately, in the Rust code. Uh, in this case, named Terra. In Terra, we just uh, defined that the template file will have a certain uh, parameters that we want to substitute with another string. That string happens to be an array which seamlessly goes into enum for JSON validation format and uh, JSON forms is able to pick that up and actually use it as proper configuration for our thing. So if I have an editor part here where I can update parameters with the same UI, save it, and then reload the page, I would get this fancy help for me. Cool. Terra is great. See you next time.